Vlogmas day 15, last day of school. <laughs> this is a chocolate flavored one. A rich chocolate is our flavor. You know, today's a special occasion. Raspberry gem from last year. Cheers. It smells like raspberry jam and it's so good. Oh my God. If you didn't notice, look at that. There's no hamper of shame. I'm bringing with me my Kindle today because I'm done with everything. I have everything planned out. I'm good. So we're at school. We're chilling. I have first grade prep. I got here 15 minutes early because a student was like upset about their grade. And I was like, if you could get me a paper by nine o'clock, I'll grade it. And so far, not here. So I think I'm just gonna read, I think. Nice little ease into the morning. I'm going to make sure I have a movie queued up for the kids when they come in. We're gonna play a movie the whole entire day. Just let it, let it happen. Let it go. It's one of those weird days. It's coloring stuff, if they wanna do some coloring stuff. So we're just, we're easing in. There's that bell. So. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just read and enjoy my coffee. Jingle All The Way is on Disney Plus. Jingle All The Way is on Disney Plus. I repeat, Jingle All The Way is on Disney Plus. Hello, it's brunch time. So it's like, it's 1040, but I didn't eat breakfast specifically because I got a burrito. So I'm gonna eat my burrito. There's actually been a lot more kids than I thought showing up today. Normally there's like no one that shows up on these Fridays because it's like a half day, grades were already submitted. So it's like, what do you do, right? But whatever. The term is done. Ah! Got a little present from my teacher friend. She made little candies. So I thank you very much. I also got one of my students made me this. And I just showed you the Christmas tree. So my a lot of my students made little ornaments and put them up on the tree, which I love. I also, one of my students made me this. I teach world history, if you did not know. But yeah. So, maybe that, and then just a really nice little card on the back. Thank you for being such a cool teacher and even more amazing person. Thank you for everything you are. I hope you have an amazing Christmas and I hope you enjoy your break. I love that. I'm done. So I'm going to, I'm gonna chill for a second because I know it's probably crazy outside, but I actually invited a bunch of staff to go meet up and grab a beer. So no one said that they're coming. If no one shows up, I'm gonna have a beer by myself and that is fine, but I'm gonna lock up shop. So and I hung out for a little bit after work, which was great. Now we're home. Hi, for dinner. I'm gonna have this Trader Joe's butternut squash and caramelized onion tart. I am not allowed to do anything else until I post right now. And so it's like, just do it, just do it, Nicole. Just do it, just do it. <laughs> it's Santa, pink snow, Merry Christmas. 
we are officially done. We are officially done for the student's term. We're done for my term. We are officially done. Oh, we can open, we can open the wine. That little muskrat. Look at that muskrat. Who are you? Who are you? Yeah, we're gonna just watch Jingle all the way. Have a glass of wine, be chill, merry, and bright. Wine time. So, day 15. Are we only 10 days away from Christmas? It's a red dough. Pinot Noir. There's also my microwave. Oh my god, it's so cold. Okay, cheers. Good morning. Happy day. 16. Oh, it's early. It's very early. It's a Saturday and it's early. Remy is trying to scratch at my butt. There's a reason we are up at 8 o'clock in the morning. Rodino. Cheers. Ooh, that's actually really good. So, today, Remy is going to the groomer. You are. Sorry, but you gotta go. I'm gonna come back, take a shower, get nice clean, and then we are going to wrap presents. Hello, get ready to wrap with me. Officially, all the presents are here. So I'm gonna be wrapping everything right now. I like doing just one big wrap and go kind of situation. So I'm really excited for this. So we're just gonna start with what's right in front of me and then just keep building backwards, I guess, and see how that kind of works out for us. This is my little tree. Um, there are a couple presents I'm gonna be taking with me today. One, because it's my dad's birthday. So you'll see kind of how I do birthday slash Christmas because it is birthday season also at my house. It's a very expensive season. So about in my house, every two weeks there is a birthday. So yeah, it's great. <laughs> and first and foremost, before we get started, I do also want to say that if this is outside of your budget, I also totally understand. I do have a large family and we do give each other presents. I do put my family on a budget though. So I do save money throughout the year. I do buy presents throughout the year. I try not to wait till the last minute. So for instance, my sister's present, I got back in February, but I try to buy things throughout the year so it doesn't add up all at the end. And if that is also not the case, I do try to save money throughout and everyone's budget around Christmas time is about $50 per person. Sometimes we do go over, it does happen, but I do stay within a, I try to stay within a budget. So if this is not something you afford, I'm not trying to show off anything. This is just what I am doing for my family. So with that being said, with our wrapping paper from last year, which is this metallic, or we could go back and forth. No, we're gonna finish off one roll first and then move to the next. That's what we're gonna do. What I bought today is for Remy. This is Remy's little Christmas present. She loves the little pull-out toys. She likes to have her brain stimulated. So this is the perfect little one and it's little marshmallows. There was another one that was really cute with trees, but she would have been able to pull it out too easy and she would have been bored. So this is the one we got for her. I got Remy when she was 10 weeks old. So Remy, I've had her since she was a puppy. I got her off the mean streets of Craigslist and I was looking for a dog. I was looking at all the shelters. There was none. I got her during COVID when we were in the height of COVID. And yeah, they were just, dogs were being swooped up like no one else's business. And I was pretty firm on that I wanted a girl dog as I've never had a male dog before. And I wasn't quite ready for that kind of training. Also, <laughs> I'm glad because Remy was a lot. She's a very smart dog. She is a very sweet dog. However, she's also a pain in the butt and she is part French Bulldog. 
and I grew up with Cocker Spaniels. That is very different. Cocker Spaniels are so easy to train. They're so easy to please. They're not stubborn whatsoever. Same cannot be said for French Bulldog. Whoever comes into my life better know she's the center of my world and her needs will always come first. Second present we're gonna go through and do right now is actually a birthday present for my friend's daughter whose birthday party I'm going to right after this. So this is for her daughter. She's turning five years old and I just thought this was very cute and adorable. It's a blanket, but it's also a twister. The way I do birthday presents around this time of year is I just take the wrapping paper and I flip it. So that way the outside is gonna be this part. This is my friend's daughter. She, we were team teachers together. So team teaching, is when you have two teachers in the classroom and in our case we were teaching two different subjects but we worked together so i was teaching ap world history and she was teaching english and so we did a lot of things that kind of echoed each other's stuff so if i was teaching about religions for example her book was siddhartha and so we had the kids work on that so that way they could understand and kind of correlate the, between the two different ideas and it was a i honestly loved it but However, you do have to jive with your team teacher. So there was definitely um, other team teachers where they did not get along whatsoever. So birthday presents, I also just write the name on the present itself instead of on a tag just because, just because. This is for my uncle and aunt really cute oh geez this really cute cheese board so it's got the marble at the bottom and the wood on the top it is so cute so this one is for my mom because it's got eeyore on the top little holder for another present so I was also thinking that we could roll up her Disney 100 shirt in here. So I got her the Disney 100 shirt when I was in Disneyland, obviously. I was thinking we could just roll this up, stick her in here, boom. Round things are the hardest, oh God, are the hardest to do, I feel. I feel like there's gotta be a trick and I just have yet to figure it out. Oh, they did not send me the right thing. This was supposed to be Mickey and Minnie and they sent me Star Wars. It's fine because my cousin loves Star Wars. So, it's fine, we'll, we'll keep that, not a big deal. This for my cousin, Charlie, and then I got this for my cousin, Brian. So that works out fine. Again, not that big of a deal that they messed up. <laughs> Don't really care, it works. I can't wait until you see what I got my niece, because oh my God, she's gonna all fall it out. We understood the assignment last year, <laughs> the uncles and aunts. It was dress up. We we did all the dress up. So she had all of the dresses and it was good. <laughs> she had a ball trying on all of the dresses. She had to try on each one. Oh, uh, still gonna try to save that. it perfectly underneath. That worked, okay, perfect. <laughs> well, this, I don't know who it is. Ah, this is my little brother's. So my little brother wanted Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't question these things. So my little brother, he got TikTok famous for a second. I guess his friends are TikTok famous and he was helping them film something for a brand deal. 
and I guess I was in his comments like or not his comments in their comments like who's your friend who is he and he was just like I don't want that <laughs> he's very much a he's very much an extrovert like he he is the center of attention but he, he's not down for the internet fame so so I got my uncle two different candles he's very much a candle guy so I got him this Marth Martha Stewart uh, Santa's cookies it actually smells really good like it's delicious <laughs> so I got him this one. Oh, I'm also drinking the brownie stuff from yesterday Ooh, after tasting it, I remember why I've never bought that one. It's because I don't like it. Oh, we're out. This one is the sea salt and palm. Looks like this. It's just black. So this one's fun because it's got red trees and deer. Oh, this one I know is for my sister. This is going to be for her birthday, though. So this is her birthday present. One of her birthday presents. So I got her this candle. It has crystals on the top of it. I got it from Home Goods. I got a lot of stuff from Home Goods, but we're gonna actually we're going to hold off on this one until later. This is for my older brother. Again, I told you there's a herd of us. <laughs> he also is the only one that didn't tell us what he wanted. <laughs> so I was like, well... I don't sit around and wait. <laughs> God, when I was a kid, I was like the designated rapper. Christmas Eve, I would sit there and I would literally just be rapping for everyone. Everyone would play for 24 hours. But one channel would always have Elf playing for 24 hours. So I would just put on Elf and <laughs> for 24 hours, I'd just be watching Elf wrapping presents for 24 hours. Uh, it was a good time. It was great. To get a phone call being like, Remy's ready to be picked up. I'm not ready for her to be picked up. So <laughs> literally show up to my house like this. Amazon? I'm not okay with that. Disaster. It's this Eeyore night shirt. My mom's favorite character is Eeyore. And so my dad was saying my mom's lost a bunch of weight. And so, and I don't think she's gotten a night shirt in a very long time. This is to my uncle my other uncle brother and i went in on this together because it's it's expensive there he wanted a it's a toothbrush that also like shoots water through the toothbrush so i don't know he's he's like that's what i want and we're like okay <laughs> sounds good we can do it we're macgyvering <laughs> it's fine that was a really bad At my dad's birthday present. So my dad went to IU and he's a big IU fan and he wanted a bucket hat. Simple man. This is for my friend Megan. My friend Megan is a huge bird watcher. She loves birds. She is a very much an environmental person. And so she also just bought a house. And I was like, why don't I get you a ring bell for like, for birds? How cool is that? So like they just have to hook it, she has to hook it up to her phone. And then every time a bird comes and eats from it, it takes a picture. Isn't that cute? Definitely don't think that was enough. I don't know if I go this way. No. Okay, well, <laughs> this is where we MacGyver. Totally MacGyver things. <laughs> I'm 
know what. There's a little bit that shows on this side. Don't care. Oh, wait. Just to like complete the Einstein, a little tip here. <laughs> ones for Megan parents just because they they do so much for me and they're just amazing people so oh I didn't show what it was remember my blanket from that I cuddle with every night I got them that I got them that blanket did I do the same thing again Jesus Christ get them a present is like they've even told me they're like you're like our third daughter they're their family so they all family family is not always blood my sister's present that I'm gonna put in this bag she's gonna have the odd one out very much into crystals and all that so I got her this in like February so I got her this Rhodonite heart. It's very pretty and I have a matching one as well. So I thought she would like it. I'll put it in a bag that was gonna get lost. We're gonna wrap this one first, which is my niece's. I got her this Ursula skirt. Cause again, she is the dress up queen. And this year she has picked up on liking villains. She's our little villain now. And I'm just like, welcome to the dark side. We're a good time. Brian and Charlie took her to Disneyland for, they didn't go to Oogie Boogie, but they just went during Halloween time. And she went up to, Maleficent was out. It looks at her and she's like, I like you Maleficent. You're good. And Maleficent was like, no putty and her hands and so ever since then she's like no I want to be Maleficent I like Ursula I like villains and I was just like yes queen yes queen down to our last three. This is part two of my sister's birthday present. So my sister's birthday is right after Christmas. So he's very much space, crystals, right? Understanding the universe kind of individual. So that works. Actually, why did I even do that? I don't have to, I could take this off. For this picture, it's a whale with stars in it. Perfect, just like that. And then the candle to go along with it. All right, last present. This, this little stupid package. You know, the one with the pull tab. That doesn't pull. They are little few chips for golfing. All right. Here's the result. All that over there. There's a couple back there. I'll make it look pretty. But in the meantime, that's going to be it because I'm going to go to the birthday party, drive down to my parents' house, and we're going to chill. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you make good decisions. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. How could I forget? I can't leave you without a wine box. Come on now. Day 16. Is a Sauvignon Blanc. There you go. You're welcome.